we have to talk about Randolph Scott. Ah. Uh, and 10 wanted men. 10 wanted men. Yes. Randolph Scott. Randolph Scott. Whoa. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Another early TV Western with a, a giant uh, B Western star, William Boyd. You did a Hopalong Cassidy oh, TV show. Oh, what a love. <laughs> what a wonderful man. You know, I just feel so blessed to have been able to work with the, their icons. And they are just the most wonderful, down to earth, sweet people. I, I, no, I kid you not, it's the truth. And I was just a kid. And they, they just took care of me, took me, uh, put me under their wing as if they were my father. I mean, they were, they were so wonderful to me. I'll never, ever forget William Boyd, uh, so many of them. And, oh, and Edgar my. Buchanan, I think, played his sidekick in yes, the TV show. Yes, he did. What he was did. he like? A kick in the pants. <laughs> <laughs> I well, think, what, what was that called? Blind, blind Encounter. Wasn't that the name of the, of the show? Uh, I believe it was, Blind yes. Blind Encounter, yeah. It seemed like in all of these shows, you were some saucy senorita. I played a lot of senoritas. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I know everybody's business. The customers come and they go. I don't keep track of them. You kept track of this one. His name was Manuel. Manuel Soledad or something like that. He went away someplace. I don't know where. Now give me the money. If you're brunette, you were Mexican. God bless you, and that's fine with me because I worked a lot. <laughs> the B Westerns with Hoppy and all those, the, there was this explosion uh, with adult Westerns uh, with, in 1955, so things changed. changed. And one of those first adult Westerns, was uh, made a giant star out of a giant man, Clint Walker in Cheyenne. Oh, there's another. That man I will never forget, one of the most decent, honest, adorable, wonderful, and I, I can't say enough good things about Clint Walker. I thought the world of him and his wife, and she knew I thought the world of, the, of both of them. Uh, he, he was... He was like my brother. I mean, he was just wonderful, wonderful. God rest his soul. After you, you did that show, you did many of the other TV westerns. I know uh, Shotgun Slade Shotgun was Slade. one with Scott Brady. Scott Brady, mm -hmm. Yes, and again, playing another saucy senorita. Saucy senorita. senorita. <laughs> <laughs> my people, the Mexican people of New Mexico, we are American citizens. But we are foreigners. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Yes, I understand, senorita. But you must understand that I don't make the rules. As a matter of fact, I find it kind of hard remembering them when I look at you. You find me attractive? I understand now why Raph lost his head. Do not speak of him. I no longer care what he thinks. You had something to say to me? As a matter of fact, I did. It was something about uh, land grants or something, but well, right now I've completely forgotten. I was saucy, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you worked with James Coburn. Oh, yes, yes. In a yes. Tall Man episode I with Kool Gulliger and Barry Sullivan. I did, I did. Both very serious men. Very, very serious, yeah. That's what Clue said about him, too. It's, you see, it's yeah. true. Clue was, yeah. was a fun guy. And he still is. Yeah, I'll bet he <laughs> is. How is he, by He's the fine. way? He's fine. He's been here. He's joined us oh, here. Oh, yeah. he was a great guy. And like you, he was a universal contract player. Yeah. So while you were there, uh -huh. you they were putting you in all of these different all universal sorts of programs. Things. The one with uh, Bill Williams, uh, Adventures oh, yes. of Kit Carson. Kit Carson. Oh, yes. You did a lot of those. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Vuelve lo hay ocupado, cielito lindo, bien merecido. 
ay, 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 canta y no llores, porque cantando se alegran cielito lindo los corazones. Serenating the señorita of your dreams, eh? El toro was only rehearsing a song for all the beautiful señoritas everywhere. Your reward, Toro. We like you singing very much. And already El Toro knows he will like your Coca-Cola very much. Muchas gracias. Don Diamond was his sidekick. They did it to make it look sort of like the success of Wild Bill Hickok. That's it. Which was a giant show at that time. But you so bet. was The Adventures of... Uh, yeah, Kit Carson. Kit Carson. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was and a good show. At, at Universal, what was, what was it like at Universal at that time? That was a transition where they were trying to get more production on television. You know, they had like Rock Hudson and all these other, the big stars, and then there was the TV units. I knew them when they were not big stars. <laughs> they didn't know what they were doing today, tomorrow, and I told them, I predicted. I said to Rock, one day, my friend, you are gonna be one of the biggest stars in Hollywood. And he looked at me, he said, do you really think so? I said, I know so. And didn't it happen? And Tony Curtis, the same way. I said to Tony, you too, my friend, are going to be a big star. You think so? I said, I know so. <laughs> <laughs> and they became big stars. Yep, indeed. Well, you weren't in films with them. Were, no. Did you see them at the commissary or, or were there classes? We were just good take? friends. We, mm -hmm. were, we had classes together, yes. And we went to lunch together and we'd go off the, off the, uh, the, um, the, the, uh, uh, the lot? The lot. We'd go, <laughs> we'd go off the lot and uh, we'd have lunch at the park, Rock Hudson and I, and, and sometimes Tony as well. And we'd talk, chit chat about everything. And uh, he was wonderful. I really enjoyed him. What sort of classes did they offer you at Universal? Well, they were drama classes. Mm -hmm. They were, yeah, we had our, our coach was Sophie Rosenstein, who was a big time. Uh, a drama coach at Warner Brothers. And somehow, uh, when I was at Universal, they brought her over to our studio, our studio. She really tutored us, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Great lady. And I know they had fencing and horseback riding, but I've seen you in, in some of the Range Rider episodes and you're just galloping around, so you already knew how to do that's that. That's because I had my own horse for many years. My uncle, one of my uncles bought me a Palomino when I was about 17, and he taught me to ride. He was a great rider, and I was so grateful for that because what, a year later or so, I'm in the movies and I'm supposed to ride horses. Well, I love horses and I love riding, so it came, it came naturally. I really did enjoy riding. How did you first get into movies? Who, who said, oh, we want her? I was in school. I was in school, I was at City College, and I had just started actually. And the photography department was taking my pictures and they had them all over the, the campus. And one day I was approached by these two young gentlemen and we chit chatted and one thing led to another. And I told them that my mother and father had taken me into Hollywood to meet, well, they had me meet the agent they were working for. That's how that all started. And uh, I was with that agent for the remainder of my career, which went on for many moons. Who else did he handle the agent you had? A lot, let's see, going back, a lot of character actors. Mm -hmm. Not so many mm -hmm. star stars, but many, many character actors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, one of the great character actors that was a dear friend of ours and yours too, you worked with him in a Bonanza episode, the great Morgan Woodward. Oh, Morgan, what a dear man. Yeah. You know what he played in that film, in the Bonanza? Wasn't he my husband? A bad guy. Oh no. He, no, oh, oh, he's the one that shot me. Yeah, uh, he's yeah. the one that shot That's me. Right. Oh, oh, oh. That's the Morgan we know and That's love. That's the Morgan he shot me, which brings me to a cute story, which I'll tell you very quickly. My youngest son was at a bar in a Studio City, I believe. Hmm. Or no, it was across from Universal, wherever that is, and Universal City. And uh, he recognizes Morgan Woodward. 
So he goes over to, to Morgan and he says, you shot my mother. <laughs> and, Morgan, <laughs> and here's my 6'3 Irish Italian son. <laughs> anyway, they got to chit chatting, they became great friends. Yeah, that's my Morgan Woodward story. Yeah, that was uh, Kelly scared the heck out of him. Oh, Morgan scared everybody. <laughs> yeah, but you know, yeah. then you'd meet him, and he was just the most charming. Oh, he man. was the sweetest guy. Sweetest guy. Well, that yeah. Bonanza episode was called Toy Soldier, and Philip Toy Abbott Sol is who played your husband. In oh, that. that's right. That's and, right. And he was an artist. An yes, alcoholic yes, artist, yes, but yes. maybe they all are. <laughs> <laughs> and Morgan, of course, was the bad guy who uh, yeah, was yeah. leading him along. But, you know, what a tragedy that he shot you. Oh, he did. He you know? did. <laughs> and Pernell Roberts was in that episode. A lot of people don't talk about Pernell, Adam. But uh, he, is, he was different. He was strange. <laughs> That's, that's what <laughs> little it, Joe and Hoss said about yeah, him. He, he was, was different. God bless his soul. I'm sure he... He had, uh, whatever. <laughs> I'll, I'll say no more. <laughs> well, he left the show right after that. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, Little weird. <laughs> <laughs> well, he left a hit show. That is weird. Boy, did he yeah, ever. I know. Because it ran, he left it after, I believe, six years, and it, it ran for and another went, what, eight, 10, or, 12 eight years, or more. Yeah. yeah. Another actor in Westerns that you worked with, you did... Uh, Bat Masterson with oh, Gene yes. Barry. Gene Barry, yes, yes. He, he's not much of a Western star, was he? He wasn't. No, 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 actually. Mm -hmm. No, he was not. He was very charismatic in that role. Could... He was, he was. I, I'm not going to say that was one of my favorites because it wasn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. Well, my nope. mom liked him. That was a good oh, show. Good. <laughs> good, good for your mom. Oh, I liked him. I didn't care for the show. <laughs> Oh, let me, we have to talk about Randolph Scott. Ah. Uh, and 10 wanted ten men. 10 wanted yes. men. Randolph Scott! Randolph Scott! Whoa. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I got to have to tell you a cute story. In those days, that was what, the 50s or something? Uh, 51 or 52, 52, something like that. Uh, I would not fly. I just would not fly. So I always took the train. Anyway, I was supposed to fly to whatever location we were going on, and Randolph Scott got whiff of it, and he said, and he came to me and he said, you know, Donna, I understand you don't care about flying. I said, no, I don't. <laughs> I've since flown a million miles. But anyway, he said, I will give you my compartment on the train and I will take, I will fly in your, in your stead. I said, oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so that was my first experience with Randolph Scott. He was wonderful. He really was. And I enjoyed, I truly enjoyed working with him. What was he like in a scene? The man knew his lines, your lines, their <laughs> lines. Yeah, he was wonderful. He, uh, he was great to work with. And, you know, normally when you're working, you're looking right at the guy. Mm -hmm. Some actors look away or they, 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 they're nervous. Not this man. He was right there, right for you, there for you. And uh, I just can't tell you how much I enjoyed working with him. It was a pleasure. Somebody else in that film, too, a wonderful actor that Scott worked with a couple of times, Richard Boone. Oh, 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 oh. there's another one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk about an intense man. Oh, he really was. Scary, scary. Did you have scenes with him too? I did. Mm -hmm. I, are you kidding? Yeah. He <laughs> took my arm apart. <laughs> very, very much so. Yeah, yeah. No, I. But I enjoyed working with him because he was a very fine actor. Is mm -hmm. a fine actor. When he was doing the Have Guns later on, he yeah. is one of the few producers because he was a producer actor on that to actually hold rehearsals. Most of them, they just do it with you don't the camera. Want to do that, and right. he allowed right. time for that a couple of days uh -huh. earlier on those That's shows. That's good and it's bad. Mm -hmm. It's good and it's bad. Like I worked with Bob Cummings on the Bob Cummings show as well. Bob would not, not rehearse, mm -hmm. and that was my kind of man. I didn't like that either. I liked, I, it, 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 just go on and be natural. Mm -hmm. That's the way happen. Clint works. Yes. Clint doesn't want to have a no. rehearsal. Uh uh, let it happen. The, let it come naturally. Well, the camera finds something. And I think right. the camera always found something in it your all, performances, though, too. Oh, golly, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but 
Yes, it does. <laughs> Thank you very much, Donna, Thanks, for being Rob. here. Thanks, Rob. Thank you all so much. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, share, and tell your friends because we, and you, we're all gonna keep the Western history alive. Yeah. Thanks, see you soon.